Hey everyone, and welcome to World Heritage Journey, where today we're at the great saltworks of Salin Les Bains in eastern France. So today we're at a saltworks in eastern France, where for centuries salt, white gold, one of the most important trade goods of all human history was extracted underneath our feet and in the buildings behind me. They used a really unusual technique, which is not one that I've seen before, and I'm really excited to have a closer look. Let's go. Over the centuries, the main technique used to extract the salt was a technique known as noria. The underground springs would feed directly into chambers like the one I'm standing in now and the noria was essentially like a ferris wheel, a series of buckets attached to a wheel powered by a horse. The buckets would dip down individually and lift up the salty water and deposit into the rooms upstairs for extraction. And this is where the magic happens, where the salty water, the brine, becomes salt. We're on the upper floor of the building. Below us would be massive ovens, originally powered by wood, later by coal. The salt water would be dumped into these big pans that you can see behind me and boiled. Once the boiling was done, the salt would just be sitting there and it would be raked out by men, literally with rakes, and dumped into carts along the side, ready for export. This is the other part of the World Heritage listing here, and it's the Royal Salt Works at Arc et Senon. It's about 20 kilometers away from the old salt works that we looked at this morning, and it was designed as an expansion to that complex. In the 18th century, the yield at the old salt works was lowering and demand was rising, but they couldn't expand because it was penned in by the narrow valley. So they moved it down here onto the plain where there was plenty of space for more workers and they were much closer to the timber that fueled the ovens. It was designed as a perfect industrial city, though sadly it was never properly realised because despite operating for over a hundred years, it never really reached its full potential and the construction was never finished. Unfortunately, things like the falling price of salt and the ease of other manufacturing processes meant that this process just wasn't viable anymore and they had to shut it down. A bit of a sad way to end, I think, but it's been an interesting journey today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the Road, and I'll see you at the next World Heritage Site.